now we are going to discuss about the plant growth regulators right so uh, when we talk about plant growth regulators that these are the regulators which will involve into the plant growth which will help into the plant growth right so when we try to define it plant growth regulators are the organic compounds other than nutrients right these are nothing but uh, these are not nutrient these are other than nutrient organic compound which affect the morphological structure right like maybe root stem fruit how the plant will grow and the physiological process also right whatever the physiological process it go on under the under production of secondary metabolite primary metabolites and all those things of plant that will be in low concentration right so in the overall how we can define the plant growth regulator is plant growth regulator or pgr are the organic compounds other than nutrients which affect the morphological structure and uh, physiological process of plant in low concentration right so plant hormones in low concentration what they do is they control the physiological process right now we are having uh, three types of regulators and two types of inhibitors so we'll discuss one by one all of you might be knowing that uh, auxin right so this has been now made the notes in a such a way so that it will be easy to remember for you people right since we have uh, got fed up in the, uh, the bookish language and from the book so it will be easy to uh, uh, remember for you like first one is the auxin so when we talk about auxin these are the substance that promote elongation of coleoptile tissues right so this is the word you need to remember in case of auxin right uh, involved in different growth process so these tissues will be involved in different types of growth process for example internode elongation leaf growth initiation of vascular bundle xylem phloem and all those things right now maybe in the fruit maybe in the leaf right cambium uh, cambial activity like uh, uh, cambium tissues will be there into the stem uh, between the uh, bark and wood so this activity can be also uh, monitored by the auxin fruit setting and growth inhibition of root growth right so these are the uh, function of the auxin into the plants right so what are the different examples when you talk about the first one is the indole acetic acid right so you can see here uh, six member ring benzene ring with the five membered ring NH it is involved in CH2COOH right so this is structure if you remember uh, you will be able to write about indole 3 butyric acid also only the thing is here also again benzene ring with 5 member ring NH it is there CH2CH3 you have to add here uh, before CH2COOH okay so this one is the addition so like that if you remember one thing you will be able to write two things which will increase your answer examples right then apart from this uh, another three also you can mention in the auxin those are nothing but uh, uh, alpha nephthyl acetic acid alpha nephthyl oxy acetic acid and alpha nephthyl acid amide right so alpha nephthyl it is attached in all these three so this acetic acid oxy acetic acid what are the addition you can add and like that you can so this has been arranged in a such a way so that you can remember it easily Right. If you go to the book and other sources, uh, definitely you have to arrange or rearrange as per your convenience. So I have tried here to arrange it in a such a way so that because this is my B form notes, right? So it will be definitely you will find the find the uh, easy other than other source. Uh, coming to the second one, zebralins, right? So when we talk about zebralins, these are the tetracyclic endogenous compounds which contributes to the elongation of internodes flowering in plants right so uh, this will be present into the root shoots buds even leaves right uh, uh, root nodes fruits that's what i have written the one formula rsblf root shoot bulb buds leaf fruit right, right so in that way you can remember it's left to you now coming to the gibberlic acid this is the example so here uh, one six member ring five member ring again six member ring and one square like uh, Think it is going to be there OH hydroxyl group CH2 COOH CS3 OH inside CO like that you can remember then gibberlic acid 1 gibberlic acid 2 gibberlic acid 3 7 9 like that uh, there are so many derivative of gibberlic acid that can also be the part of your answer right so now we are discussing the gibberlic acid so in that <coughs> further what we can mention here is third one and that is called the after gibberlic acid under plant growth regulator third one cytokinin right so cytokinin uh, one second 
will do like this right okay so cytokine uh, what are the points we can mention here uh, these are either natural or synthetic compounds with significant growth regulating activity okay that's what growth regulating activity effect on the promotion of cell division then it is also having the influencing the expansion of cells in leaf disc expansion of cells in the leaf disc then another thing what the role it play it de uh, delaying the breakdown of chlorophyll whatever the chlorophyll it is there in your leaf it will delay the breakdown of this chlorophyll then degradation of protein in aging leaves right so most of the uh, function we are seeing here in the leaves of the uh, particular plants right so what are the example we can mention for cytokine then kinetin g18 n6 dimethyl aminopurine and uh, adenine so these are the example you can write that's what it has been arranged these two are looking like a brother tin tin suffix you can see right so, so kin ga so like that i have arranged uh, right so you can find definitely easy somewhat easy than the other sources so you just uh, watch the entire things so that it will be easy for you to understand and uh, to buy hard the things ultimately you have to write it in the exam that is our goal actually right so once we understand we'll be having the clarity fourth one is ethylene it is a simple organic molecule present in the form of volatile gas this is you need to remember it is nothing but gas right and show the profound physiological effect okay it present in ripening fruits flowers stems roots tubers seeds that's what r s s t f right root uh, here here what you can write that uh, you can uh, say that uh, ripening fruit uh, root shoot stem tuber flower so according to that you can arrange uh, however you feel uh, easy ethylene is produced by incomplete burning of carbon rich substances like natural gas coal <coughs> and the petroleum so you can see here the structure how it is carbon double bond carbon and uh, everywhere it is h is attached so this is ethylene okay now coming to the other examples you can mention here is ethyphone that's what i have made it one phone like symbol it is left to you ethy ethylene ethyphone then glyoxine you can see glyoxine again the same structure you can draw instead of uh, h here no no you can add so this will become glyoxine so likewise you can be uh, able to give the so many examples uh, with the proper structure then it will become uh, impressive answer now coming to the uh, last one fifth one abscisic acid it is also known as aba right so when we talk about abscisic acid it is a plant growth inhibitor okay these are not regulator inhibitor retaining and shedding of different organ for example leaves stems flowers fruits etc rslf it is left to you how you are going to remember so here abscisic acid is structure you can see one benzene ring here csc csc three csc is going to attach and in one side it will be oh hydroxyl group here one o group right so a ketonic group so like that it will go ch ch ch3 ch cooh right so zig zag right so like that uh, it is left to you how you are going to re uh, remember it but this you will be able to draw it will be good answer try try practicing it's not that difficult